All right, we're 19 days into Idaho's 21 day stay at home order. A lot of people out there seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of us began our Monday with maybe a stretch, maybe a shower, getting the coffee maker going, but overall saying at the end, it's just, it's, it's right there. And then over a plate of eggs or a bowl of frosted flakes, don't judge. You may have heard or read this tweet from President Donald Trump. Some are saying that it is the governor's decision to open up the states, not that of the president and of the United States and the federal government. Well, let it be fully understood that is incorrect. It is the decision of the president and for many good reasons. With that being said, the administration and I are working closely with the governors and this will continue. It was a little smaller there on that second one, but you get the gist. He's saying, President Trump saying he's going to decide when we open up the states. Well, that close working relationship continued today with Governor Brad Little joining a conference call with the White House, as he has done every week. So that part is correct, the working together part. But the decision of the president part, not so much. We'll let Governor Brad Little explain, as he explained, how he could give a statewide stay-at-home order, stay order nearly three weeks ago. You know, when I declared the first emergency an extreme emergency, uh, I did it predicated on law and the fact that in the a 10th Amendment of the Constitution, it gives the states the powers uh, that aren't reserved to the federal government, and this is, this is one of them. The 10th Amendment, the last of the Bill of Rights, the powers not delegated, delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people. That's it. That's the words of the, ten, the 10th Amendment. Reserved powers like state school systems, overseeing state courts, public safety systems like declaring states of emergency and oh, managing business and trade within the state. So no, outside of a full blown federal shutdown of the country, President Trump will not decide whether Governor Little lets the 21 day stay at home order lapse or if he lines it up again. Well, that's not to say the governor isn't getting it from all sides on what he should do come Wednesday. April 15th, that is the end of this 21 day order. And you can be sure he's heard from business owners who say end it and health experts who say extend it. He hasn't let on which way he's leaning, although there are a lot more people getting antsy about writing this out even further. What we do know now is Governor Little will be holding a press conference to announce his decision on Wednesday. That's coming up Wednesday morning at 11. We also know Boise's Mayor Lauren McLean will be holding her own press conference the next day. That's coming up Thursday at 2 p.m., which leads to this next question. If the governor decides to let the order expire, what changes? Would all cities suddenly be open for business or could local leaders keep that stay at home order in place? Well, those choices will likely be left to the cities, the last line of decision when it comes to these things, because they could still have rules and regulations that don't require an endorsement from the state. Joe Paris talked with Meridian Mayor Robert Simison about what options cities have and what they are gauging or how they are gauging what to do. If it comes to the point where Governor Little announces Wednesday morning that he's leaving it up to local jurisdictions to decide what's most appropriate, what would the city of Meridian kind of look at doing? Well, we would first talk, talk to Central District Health. You know, they are the they have authority uh, second to the governor in this issue to see what they think is appropriate for Ada County. Um, and then we'd also talk to our local communities to see where they are. We, we do meet regularly with other uh, elected leaders from the Treasure Valley. And I think that we, to the best of our ability, whatever decision could be made in the Treasure Valley, we would want it to be close to what others are doing. So right now it's really wait and see. You're not firm on anything either way until the governor's announcement's made? Correct. And if, if and when communities decide to open, at what rate? Is it just all restrictions are lifted or is it a more measured approach? And if I was a betting person, I think that both from the state level and a community level, a more measured, measured approach is likely the way that we would respond when the time is right. What can cities do? Like how much power does the Meridian mayor have? Well, I don't want to use the word power, um, but you know, cities do have, we, we have the ability to go all the way to a quarantine level. Mayor Simison says he doesn't plan on having to go that far, but in short, mayors do have the legal ability to take local action. We've seen this already. Now in Meridian, an encouraging sign though for the mayor. He says people seem to be keeping their social distance and following the stay at home guidelines. You know, we want people to do what they think is right for our community. That's what this is all about. 
Um, you know, businesses that made the decision early on to close because they felt it was right for their employees or right for the community. The mayor says that the community taking it seriously also makes a big difference. You have to, at some point in time, have a relationship with your community that they should do what is right for the community and right for their neighbors, right for their family. And that's, I think, regardless of whatever order the governor issues or Central District Health or myself, if necessary, it's all dependent upon what the community is willing to do in order to protect the health and safety of one another. All right, so Joe, Meridian and Boise, both the uh, two biggest cities in the state, but they were the first to kind of put some sort of restrictions in place, and they could very well be the last to lift them. Yeah, it's possible. Right now, a lot of stuff is in play. The truth is, until Wednesday morning, we really aren't sure how this is going to play out. Um, like Mayor Simison said, it's a lot of wait and see right now. Uh, it's a lot of questions, Brian. I know it's frustrating for people because there's a lot more questions than there are answers right now, and it's going to probably be like that for quite some time. Yeah, it, it seems that way, and a lot of unanswered questions. But meanwhile, answer, unanswered questions for Idaho's small towns, for a matter of fact. Last week, Valley County putting out the plea to people who were ignoring the stay-at-home order and taking a drive to, say, Cascade or McCall for the weekend or even just getting a midweek getaway. Their big ask at the time, please don't. Not right now and maybe not for the next several weeks. Whether it's an expiration or an extension, McCall City Council has scheduled a special session, which is slated for Wednesday afternoon at four. By then, they will know what the governor has decided to do, and they will then make their own enhancements or modifications to these restrictions. Well, I suppose it's possible that people will choose to continue uh, traveling um, or to increase their travel. Um, but we'll continue to just um, let the public know that depending on what our council decides here at the city of McCall, um, we've got restaurants doing takeout only, just like they're supposed to be. And we've got our public parks closed. Um, so we're pretty limited in what we have available to the public right now. And should our council change that? Well, then, you know, perhaps we'll flip it for everybody. What would be the concern if people started visiting McCall? The hospitals in particular. Um, we have a very small health care um, availability here in our area. Um, and St. Luke's has implored people to please not visit here because they do not have the uh, manpower or infrastructure to take care of them. So I think that would be the major concern. A major concern is countywide and likely going to continue for a bit, which is why all of Valley County is hanging on the governor's decision, just like everyone else. And we spoke with County Commissioner Sherry Moppin this afternoon. She said she could understand why lifting the restrictions can be seen as a good thing if it's done responsibly. Right now we're doing OK. Uh, we have been successful with what we have done in holding down our numbers. However, if this second wave comes like people are anticipating and people do start coming here from infected areas, it could definitely impact us. So we're going to request that people do the right thing um, with wearing masks if they come. If they do come to come and quarantine for the 14 days, bring your supplies with you. Try not to use our grocery stores for the first 14 days. So that as people integrate back into the area here, we have a lot of travelers coming that are the snowbirds that are coming home. Are people eager, kind of uh, looking forward to maybe opening up a little bit? Everyone is getting very tired of being at home alone. So, <laughs> however, I think that's true throughout our country. So we need to do the right thing. We need to make sure that we are not allowing an opportunity um, for this to come to us because this would all be for naught. People are, are suffering terribly financially for this. And if all of a sudden we go back and we just open everything up, it will be a concern that we'll have a second wave and have to do it all over again. And I, I just can't imagine the way that businesses would feel if they have given up so much financially only to have a, a second wave come and have to close everything down. I think that'd be a tragedy. So getting back to normal isn't just going to happen with a flip of a switch or the end of a stay at home order. It's going to be gradual. We're going to have to deal with a new normal for a while. And Commissioner Moppin also wanted to remind everyone it's the mud season right now. Not a whole lot to see or do in Valley County. So give yourself and them a bit of time before you decide to drop in on McCall or Cascade. All of this not really saying anything until the governor does is basically a nice way to say if the stay at home order is dropped, well, we're probably not going to see much change. Not yet. Cities will still have the authority to impose their own restrictions, and those that have them in place already likely keep them that way.